My grandmother's hands held the brightly colored paper carefully. She traced the shapes of petals and then picked up the scissors and began cutting. I was six years old. I sat and stared as the flowers came to life. I'm from Brazil, from a city called Brasilia, a modern and young city built in the 1960s to be our country's capital. My grandparents, filled with hopes and dreams, came from a rural area to build a new life in this new city, and they brought their traditions with them. Every year, on June 24th, they reunite the family to honor St. John and celebrate Festa Junina. The colors, the music, the food. My grandfather chopped wood and stacked it to create a wall of fire in an outdoor pit. Grandma made those colorful paper flowers every year. She decorated St. John's picture, which would be hung outside to bless our party and family for the whole month. I remember I used to ask my mom, why doesn't she just save the paper flowers and use the same ones next time? But it was part of her vow, part of her faith and devotion to the saint to make them new every year. At some point during the evening, all of us kids, the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, got on our knees and prayed for an entire hour before huge figures of saints. Grandma and Grandpa were in the front, praying the rosary and leading us to do the same. I didn't understand why it took so long. I wanted to eat and dance. Now I understand it was really a way of thanking our ancestors and God for our health and lives. My grandparents are gone now and everything is only in my childhood memories. I wish Grandma had taught me how to make those beautiful flowers. Maybe this year I'll just buy colored paper and ask my daughters to help me figure out how to make them. <laughs>